What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to a brand new episode of my FIFA 14 Team of the Season predictions. Welcome back guys, last two weeks we predicted the Team of the Season BPL as well as the Bundesliga. Got fairly similar teams, it's normally the subs bench that you get the most difference in. Um, but um, this week we're going to be predicting the Team of the Season that set it out, which I believe is going to be released at the same time as the Team of the Week, number 35 on the 14th of May. And um, Team of the Season set it out. Quite a, like um, a wanted team of the season. You've got some okay, fairly good players in that team. And uh, City has quite a good team in FIFA 14 in this current year. So uh, let's move on straight into team of the season's FIFA 14 City Our predictions. So... I believe normally EA base their teams on, I don't know, late, like magazines or basically a football agency that does the team of the week for that league. Um, for example, the team of the season for the BPL was done by the PFA Awards, I believe. Um, the majority of players were in that team of the season were actually on the team of the season PFA. Uh, I believe the Bundesliga was mainly down to kicker. Um, they gave all their highest ratings to the players and all the high rated players were put into a team. And the set it out, I believe, is going to be a, another Italian magazine, which I can't actually find if they've actually released their team of the season yet. Obviously, there is two, uh, a couple of days before it actually um, the team of the season on FIFA is released, but it's called the Gazetta, I think it is. Um, they are another major footballing magazine in the likes of Italy, and um, they're maybe EA going to take note of their team of the season. But this is going to be my team of the season. Let's set it out of predictions, and let's get straight into the players. So we're going to start off here with the goalkeeper. We have this AS Roma goalkeeper, Morgan De Sanctis. Um, plays in goal for AS Roma, like I said. Uh, played 36 games, 83 saves, and 20 clean sheets. Most clean sheets in the league. Um, Roma doing very, very well indeed this season round, and uh, he's been one of the main successes. Kind of surprised he hasn't actually picked up an in-form card or on the most consistent. So uh, that's kind of surprising, but he could potentially get that goalkeeping spot in the Serie A team this season. Moving on to the defence here. First we're going to have here is this player here, Rodriguez. I believe he got one last season. Uh, plays for Florentina at the centre-back position. Uh, played 32 games, four goals, and one assist. Uh, fairly good, solid performance by a centre-back there. Uh, moving on to the next player, I have this player here, Mendy Benatia. Um, plays for AS Roma. Another player has been very, very solid for Roma's defensive record. Um, picking up 31 games and scoring five goals. Um, picked up an upgraded card as well as numerous in-form cards. Same with Rodriguez. I believe he picked up an upgrade card as well. So he could be potentially on that steady-ass defensive line. And moving on to the final player of the defence, we have Cialini, the Juventus centre-back, and uh, played 31 games, 3 goals and 3 assists. Again, Juventus have another very, very good, solid um, defensive record. Roma, defen um, Roma sorry, and Juventus both have the best defensive records in the Serie A. And uh, the defenders and the goalkeepers on this team of the season are probably the main reason why. Moving on to the midfield, we have Jovino, another Roma player, recently transferred from Arsenal last season. And uh, he's taken off. He's been absolutely fantastic for Roma in the Serie A. Um, I'm not too sure he's actually played, played out left wing, I think, mostly. Uh, but 33 games, 9 goals and 10 assists. Fantastic performance by him. And he's been really, really good for AS Roma. Moving on to the centre mids. First thing I have here is this player here, Paul Pogba, um, the French youngster. Absolute talent indeed. Man United can be furious they let him go to Juventus. But Paul Bogba, 35 games, 8 goals and 7 assists. Fantastic performance from a centre mid. Um, he's more of like the defensive centre mid type player. Um, sits back a bit um, and helps on the attacks. But um, 8 goals from any centre mid is a very, very good performance indeed. Moving on to the next player, this player here, Artuno Vidal. Another Juventus centre mid and another player that plays very, very similar to Pogba. Um, obviously... Vidal is known for his goal-scoring record from the CDM centre-mid positions. 32 games, 11 goals and 5 assists. Fantastic performance from any centre-mid there. 11 goals from any centre-mid is a very, very good performance indeed. And uh, I believe he's picked up an upgraded card as well as Pogba, so they could potentially be on this season's team of the season. Moving on to the left wing 
you know, we have Juan Cuadrado, another Florentina player, plays for Colombia. Again, not too sure, he mainly plays on the left wing, but there sometimes he does play it out on that right wing. Um, but Cuadrado, 30 games, 10 goals, 5 assists, fantastic performance indeed. He's got picked up two informed cards as well and could be a very, very good player to have on this season's team of the season. Moving on to the Cam centre forward type player, we have this player here, Serchi. Obviously, this guy was on the team of the season, most consistent goal players. And um, I was actually kind of very, very surprised that he hadn't actually picked up an inform card already because this guy's been absolutely fantastic for Torino in the study at Torino, actually placing, I think, probably around sixth or seventh near that. Europa League spot, um, but um, Sergi, 36 games, 13 goals and 10 assists. That's a fantastic performance by any player and he should definitely be on the team this season at Serie A. Moving on to the strikers, we have this player here. First player, Carlos Tevez, Argentinian Juventus striker. I believe recently transferred this season from Man City to Juventus. Uh, picking up 33 games, 19 goals and 8 assists. I believe he's the third highest goal scorer in the Serie A and um, still is a very, very good attacking threat for Juventus. Moving on to the final player of the starting eleven, we have this player here, Ciro Immobile, another Torino player. Again, Torino having a fantastic season. Immobile picking up 33 games, 22 goals, highest goal scorer in the league, as well as four assists. Fantastic performance by him. And um, I believe he is also on the books for Dortmund for looking for a replacement of Lewandowski, I think, off the top of my head. Um, and he's had a very, very good season indeed. Moving on to the subs bench here. This is where it's obviously going to get a bit different. The starting 11 is normally fairly hard, easy to predict. The subs bench is always different. But the start, we're going to have this player here, Buffon. He was on the subs bench last FIFA's team of the season. Um, and uh, the reason I put him on was because he had 32 games, four games less, 84 saves and 18 clean sheets. Two clean sheets less than De Sanctis. Uh, that's the main reason I put him on that bench. But still looks like a fantastic keeper and has had a fantastic season this season for Juventus as well. Moving on to a defender. We have this player here, Leonardo Castan. Another most consistent um, re-release uh, for EA. 84 rated player. Play for AS Roman. He again has been one of those very, very good solid players for Roma's defensive record. I believe picking up 35 games and being in a number of those clean sheets for Re Roma. I think probably around at least 19 clean sheets for him. Uh, fantastic performance out the back. Watch him play against Juventus the other day as well. And he, he looks like a very, very good solid centre back as well. Played very, very well this season and could potentially be on that team this season. Sell it out. Moving on to the next player. This player here, Borja Valero. I believe he was in it last season um, and um, plays Florentina, Spanish player. And the, the main reason I put him in was because uh, quite a few um, other footballing websites put him in um, as a team of the season for the Serie A. And um, he's one of those players that kind of doesn't get recognised for his good performances. 31 games, 6 goals and 7 assists from the centre mid is a very, very good performance indeed. Obviously, he's got the defensive duties and getting back as well. Um, and it uh, looks like a very, very good, solid player. Moving on to the next player, this player here, Antonio Condoleva. And this is another player I'm surprised that hasn't actually picked up an informed card or the team of the season most consistent card because he's been absolutely fantastic for Lazio in the Serie A. I believe picking up 36 games, 12 goals and 8 assists, mainly playing out on that right wing position, uh, sometimes playing behind the striker as well. And uh, he's been absolutely fantastic um, for Lazio and looks like a very, very good player indeed. Moving on to the next player, this player here, Domenico Berardi. Um, this guy has been an absolute fantastic performance this season for Sao Solo. Um, and um, I think, it believe it is 28 games, 16 goals and 6 assists from the youngster. I'm not too sure in what team he at. I think he is actually on loan. I'm not too sure off the top of my head. But he's had a fantastic performance. He's an upgrade card. Two informs from a silver. And uh, that looks like a very, very good card indeed. Moving on to the next player. This player here, Francesco Totti. Another Roma player. Plays centre forward for Roma. And uh, the main reason I put him in was 25 games, 8 assists, um, eight goals, sorry, and 11 assists. Which uh, is a pretty decent performance. I think he's got the most amount of assists off the top of my head. And and for 25 games, that's a pretty decent record. And um, still going strong after his number of years at Roma. And it could be a potential player on the team this season. You've obviously got other players like Higuain that could be in there. Moving on to the final player of this season's team of the season for the Serie A. We have Luca Toni, the Hellas Verona striker. And uh, this guy's been a very, very good player for Verona. I believe picking up 
Um, 20 goals, 7 assists, 33 games. Fantastic performance indeed. And it's been one of the main reasons Verona have actually done quite well. I believe they actually came up from the Celia B last season. I think it is off the top of my head. I'm not too sure, guys, if I got that wrong. Um, but uh, they've actually been challenging for the Europa League. So a fantastic performance from the Verona, Hel Hellas Verona team. And uh, they look like a very, very good, strong force in the future. So, guys, that is the, my prediction to the team of the season Sell it out. Obviously, you've got some fantastic players there. You just expect that from any team this season. And obviously, you've got to have some costly ones as well. But alternatives that could have been in the team, um, these are just the players that I... I had a potential that could have been. Uh, first player is going to be Pinic. Uh, plays for the Roma, um, the centre mid. 35 games, 6 goals, 6 assists. Um, another goalkeeper, Perrin. Plays for Genoa. Um, 36 games, 130 saves, 10 assists. Fantastic performance by him. Um, some set defending options. You've got Benucci, the Juventus the defender, 28 games, 2 goals, 3 assists. Mykon, 28 games, 2 goals. Um, let's have a quick look. Strikers, you've obviously got Gonzalo Higuain, the Napoli striker. 32 games, 17 goals and 7 assists. So he could potentially be on there instead of the likes of Totti. But um, in the last team of the seasons, they haven't really gone for 4 strikers um, or at least 5 really attacking players such as these 2 centre forwards. So it'll be um, surprising to see them put another strike into that team. But guys, that has been the team of the season that set it out predictions. If I've missed any players out, put the players in the comments. Put the reasons why. If you like, remember to click that like button. Also, put any feedback in the comments. Remember to subscribe. Stay tuned to the series and the upcoming Team of the Week predictions as well. Be sure to go and check out the Team of the Week number 35 predictions, which should be released at the same time as this Team of the Season set it out. Guys, this has been Crush. Till next time, adios.